All right, guys, Facebook Q&A. Sorting through some of the questions you guys asked. Uh, one of them, I believe, by Roman Fritz was, uh, is it necessary to supplement uh, T3 and T4 whenever you're utilizing growth hormone? It's been a while since I've even brushed up on this topic and researched it. Um, I believe that it will lower free T4 levels. However, I think it leaves free T3 unaltered or in some cases raises free T3. And in my opinion, free T3 levels is what, you're, what you want. It's active thyroid. Um, so, could you supplement additional T3 or Synthroid with your growth hormone cycle? I believe you surely could. I don't think it will hurt anything. I don't think it will make things much better, to be honest with you, as long as your free T3 is where it needs to be in that normal high range. Um, TSH should always be hopefully low. So, um, in my experience though, growth hormone in and of itself is lipolytic. It always causes people to be leaner, especially in the abdominal region. I don't feel T4 or T3 would add much to it or I'll say T3 would add much to it of course just adding T3 in general for contest prep or whatever or someone that's really stubborn to burn fat will always help but I don't think it's mandatory that you need supplemental T3 to get the most out of growth hormone in my opinion and from what I've seen and personally what's happened to me so supplemental T4 throw it in there if your blood work if you don't like seeing a low free T4 level add in supplemental free T4 however keep an eye on free T3 that's what you want in that normal to high range for optimal metabolism, all that good stuff. Um, growth hormone is gonna do its thing no matter what.